is this time. What a time. I love that sign. I'm going to check out Clam Fest by myself because Mike doesn't want to be a part of it, but that's okay. Because I love it so much. This is my favorite time of the summer. We will have fun together, you and I. I feel like Mike would like the old fashioned. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This has my name written all over it. If it's seafood, it's for me. Dovetail Vintage Rental. So cute. Super cute. I love Climb Fest. Honestly, though, it kind of makes me miss my dad. He would like scope it out in the morning because he was always here, like first thing in the morning, and then like tell us if there was anything good. But I didn't say hello. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new video. It is the weekend. You are on my phone. I will get the camera out um, and properly vlog this weekend. But it's Clam Fest. If you don't know, it's my favorite weekend of the summer, and I'm hoping we can kick off August with a bang. That is Clam Fest. And I'm also not wearing my Apple Watch and I'm loving it. I'm loving this. But anyway, I hope this weekend's fun. And I'm excited for Clam Fest. And we're gonna go to dinner tonight at this place that literally you can never get a reservation at, but Mike knows someone who got us a reservation. So we're gonna go to dinner tonight and enjoy that food. I'm not gonna film it though, cause it's kind of like a work dinner, which is why I'm dressed very appropriately. I was gonna wear a dress that had no back. It was so cute. I'm gonna wear it this weekend though. And I thought, you know, best not, best not. Can you even see me? Oh. Nothing. Hurry up. The lighting is to relay. Maybe we do it over here. We're doing our outfits. Last time we did a video like this, we were locked out of the house. We did. But look at us. We look so cute. So cute. So cute. My so special and you're not so special, bloody. You got a regular schmegular. Look at my clam. What is that? Oh my god, not a clam. That's a crab claw. Cheers. And look at this view. What a time. Is it good? Yeah. Really good? Look at you and your double glasses. You look like Donna. Shout out to Donna. That's good. A platter to myself. Salad looks so good. Are you gonna share your fries? Sure. Because I would like some fries, you please. Can have some fries. Yeah. Actually, uh, not like can you even hear me? Holy shit, it's like monsooning outside. You okay, Chloe? Everyone's scared. Everyone's scared, including me. Why is Mike working out at this very moment? I need him to be done working out. I'm also like such a wuss. I'm afraid of weather. I'm definitely alarmed. I've definitely alarmed the children. It's okay. We're all gonna be fine. Good morning, my friends. I'm sitting here eating a cucumber, tomato, and feta salad in our new containers that Michael bought during the Amazon Prime Day sale. We are literally obsessed with these plastic containers. I feel 
like an elderly woman. I always feel guilty like when we do takeout food. Our Tupperware was just like a mishmash of all of like our takeout containers. So we decided to recycle all of them. It has been life changing. Sad that these are the things in life that make me happy, but it's so nice because they have a clear top. The tops snap in. I can show you guys if you're interested, but it's nice because they're clear and you can see what is in them. So I don't know, I'm just like really hungry. Honestly, delaying my workout. It is my second to last day doing summertime fine. So I'm sure you're all very excited to hear. Shortly, I will no longer be talking about it, but I am finishing one day late because I skipped a day when I had my period. I skipped a Monday morning and I tried very desperately to catch up and I really had a plan to catch up this week, but then work got in the way and the one day I was at work until like 6.45 and I didn't get home until like eight o'clock. So anywho, I feel a little burnt out. So I'm excited to finish it. I'm not gonna completely stop working out, but I'm gonna find, or maybe like incorporate other things such as yoga. I feel like my soul really needs me to get back into yoga. But anyway, I woke up, I read for an hour and a half and I finished my book. I've been reading Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom. My subscriber Faith told me to read it and I loved it. It was so good. Honestly, couldn't put it down this morning. The end really got me. And I told Mike I loved it so much. And he was like, why don't you read another Judy Bloom book? But I don't know which Judy Bloom book to read because I feel like she's come out with a bajillion books. So if there's a Judy Bloom book that you've read that you like, I'm assuming most of her books are about like coming of age. Just my assumption. I don't know. Again, this is the first and only book I've ever read from Judy Bloom, but I love that. Like I just, I loved the book. It was so good. Without giving it away, it's just about two girls who grow up from two very different upbringings and it just like follows them throughout life. It was very touching. The Summer Sisters, Vix is the main character and then Caitlin is her best friend, her summer sister. Felt super um, relatable to Vix, but also like Caitlin, I don't know, in a weird way. Like Caitlin is who I think I like wanna be when I think of who I wanna be when I grow up but like Vix is who I truly am. So anywho, I don't know. It was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. If you have a book recommendation for me, please let me know down below. This book that I started reading might be like too emotional for me in this very moment. I love Shay Earnshaw. I read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. And then I also read The Wicked Deep. Both such good books. I really love her books. Her books are more, they're kind of like coming of age a bit. Also like fantasy, more fantasy. I started reading A Wilderness of Stars. Anywho, let me know if you have any book recommendations and then of course I will let you guys know whatever book I'm reading next. I gotta work out. Let me see what my workout is today because I honestly have no idea what it is. I think it's quick. So Sydney's last few workouts have been 40 to 45 minutes and I just, I, I am a girly who loves a 30 minute workout. I love to do my workout in 30 minutes and then I love to do other activities like stretch, do my PT exercises or like walk. I just feel like 40, 45 minutes is a big dedication. Day 64, super quick Tabata. Ugh total body and abs workout. I am very proud of myself, but I'm sad that I'm not doing the grand finale with everyone in the program today because I'm a day behind. So yesterday at the end of Sydney's video, she was like, you should be so proud of yourself. You're so strong. Look at how far you've come. And like, honestly, in that moment, I thought about how I really couldn't do much when I hurt my hip. I don't know if you guys were around for that, if you remember that, but I was going to PT in the beginning of spring around, was it like March, April? for my hip and I really had to modify a lot of my workouts. And now I'm back and I feel like I'm stronger than ever. When I first started doing Sydney, my heavy weights were 10 pounds or like those were like my go-to weight was like a 10 pound weight and now my go-to weight is a 20 pound weight. So I'm very proud of me. All right, let's get on with it. I gotta get ready, I gotta get moving.
about you, but I love a summer rain. I feel like it's rained so much the last couple days, but it's like a quick shower. And honestly, I was just in it and now I'm walking out of it, but I love a summer rain. I have a feeling it might start downpouring. Ugh, I love a summer rain. Look at how pretty the sky is over there. I just, I love being outside, honestly. I would sit outdoors all day long if I could. I'm sorry if the angle is complete shit and I'm probably making you nauseous with how much I'm sweating, but I'm just sitting out here. It's about a thunderstorm. I should probably go inside, but I love a summer rain, which we've already talked about. However, I've been shopping my stash recently because I'm not, I'm doing a no buy in August in case, you know, you haven't heard in case, you know, I need to remind myself, but anywho, I'm doing a no buy. And it's been really good because I just feel like I've been shopping my stash. I've been shopping my makeup. I've been shopping my skincare. I've been shopping my clothing, my shoes. And I've just like been trying to use things that I kind of forgot about. But you guys know, I love e.l.f. and I love, what's it called? What is that other, um, oh my God, e.l.f. and this is a terrible angle. I don't know how to use this camera, so just bear with me. I love e.l.f. and I love NYX, the lip oils, but I've been going through my lip products and you know what? As much as I love them, I hate when I'm outside like I am right now and I'm wearing a gloss and my hair gets stuck in my gloss, especially when it's hot and disgusting out. So I remembered these. Remember how much I love these CoverGirl ones? But this is like a chapstick. Can you see? It's like a tinted chapstick that my hair does not get stuck in because it's not glossy, but it like plumps my lips like a gloss does. I love these, honestly. If you have an outdoor event, a gathering, a brunch, a lunch, a wedding, and you need an affordable lip product, I would highly recommend this. And I'm pairing it with, I have my ABH lip liner. Sorry, I'm outside trying to be outdoorsy, trying to be present in the moment. And yet here I am always talking about makeup, forever talking about makeup. I left my lip liner inside, but I will tell you what it is. No, I did not. It's in my bag. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills forgot I had these as well. I really like this formula in Muted Mauve. This has kind of replaced my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude because the one that I have is old and it's dry because makeup goes bad when you don't use it. Everything goes bad when you don't use it. Hence why I'm on a no buy, hence why I'm shopping my stash. I do just want to apologize that the quality in this video is changing because I am filming between my typical vlog camera, which is my Sony camera, my DJI camera that I usually take with me when Mike and I are traveling. This is what I used when I filmed our Napa vlog and our Nashville vlog. I feel like the quality is better and I also have a little microphone. So I apologize that it's between two different cameras, <laughs> my cell phone and a microphone, but I'm sorry. It's just, I like this camera because it's a little bit inconspicuous. So like when we were at Clamfest before, I could like whip this out. And I have no shame, don't get me wrong. I will whip out a vlog camera any time of any day. I don't care. Like. I'm just having a good time and I think everyone should vlog. I love to like remember the memories and have something to watch back on. I just think like it's it's like a hobby that I really enjoy and I find really fulfilling. This is more conspicuous. So instead of like pulling out my full on like digital camera, I just have this little gimbal that literally, this is the case, it's literally this big. And I'm just like, hello. And people throw a little less shade, um, still shade, but less shade. They throw a lot of shade down here. Oh well, it's me. Ciao Chiquitas. I was really hoping that we would have more Clam Fest content that we did, but oh, last night, man, we went to Clam Fest. Thankfully, you guys saw, but I got clams. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, because half the time they don't have clams. Then we sat down for like, I don't know, like a half an hour and listened to the band until the band stopped. Then we went back to the house and we were planning to go back at night for like dinner. Thunderstorms rolled in and they didn't leave. So we didn't go to Clam Fest. We really didn't have dinner. We just like snacked at the beach house. Honestly, like I am very upset about Clam Fest because I feel like we didn't get to spend a lot of time there because of the weather, but it was honestly kind of nice to hang out at the beach house and be in the house all day.
we woke up this morning we went for a walk and then we grabbed breakfast at our favorite little like breakfast spot near the house and we spent the day cleaning because my two girlfriends are coming to spend the weekend with us in the middle of august and i'm very excited for them to come but mike was like we need to like dust and mop and all the things so basically Saturday, I swept the entire house. I shook out all the rugs, cleaned all the rugs, and then Mike mopped the whole house. And my God, it was like sad when we were leaving because I was like, the house looks so clean, I don't wanna leave. Also cleaned all the cabinets. It was a very productive day, but not really how I wanted to spend my Saturday to be honest, but you know, sometimes you gotta clean. But I just wanted to come on here and say hello and tell you and celebrate me <laughs> because I finished my 60 day, no, 90 day. Why do I keep saying 60? My 90 day summertime fine fitness challenge, Sydney Cummings. You all know, I talk about it all the time. I'm so proud of me that I did it. I feel really strong. I feel really accomplished. At the end of the workout, I'm not gonna lie, I hysterically sobbed. I find like as an adult, I feel like there are like less accomplishments for me in my life recently. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but you know, like I've, when you're on like a sports team when you're young and you make it to a championship or the season's over, it's like such an accomplishment. I feel I find like you don't really have that when you're older. So anyway, she came out with her new balance calendar that I printed out and now I'm gonna do this. And I'm really excited. If I could go back in time and redo the summer, which, which I mean technically I could, but if I could go back and rewind to 90 days and do this challenge again, so next year in 2025, because I do her summertime fine, I do her challenge every single year, but this was the first year that I bought the calendars and did it day by day. If I could go back, I would do more of the stretches. You guys know I really haven't really been feeling motivated for the last like month, month and a half. I could really use yoga and stretching. I just feel like that would make me feel more, like I think I needed to pour more into my, oh my God, what is the word? I was just talking about this. I just filmed a little video. If you missed it, I'll link it up here, but it's like, fitness mantras that I've like lived by throughout the years and whatnot. Recovery, duh. I could have done better with my recovery in the sense of like stretching. Like I, I did have active recovery days. On my days off, I would go for walks. I walked on the treadmill sometimes the days that I would work out, but I wish I did a little bit more stretching and I'm definitely gonna get back to yoga, especially in the fall. I feel mentally better and physically better when I'm like stretching my body. Now I'm excited for balance. Not only do I need the balance workout routine, but I just need better balance in my life across the board. My first workout will be tomorrow which I'm not excited about because I, I don't know, I'm going to work in the morning and I like to do a 30 minute workout. I find like anything more than that is a little bit rough for me in the morning, but tomorrow the first one is a 40 minute full body strong, which say I did a 30 minute full body strength. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna do a little before and after. Can you open the stove for me? Oh God. Do you all remember in my video when I decluttered underneath the sink, like all my skincare, first of all, it's a mess in here again. But remember when I hid this in the back and was like, my Italian dentist is life. I will never use this, so I will throw this in the back. My tooth has been bothering me. I think I had something like stuck in my gums. I think my gum was bothering me. I floss and then I threw this on and I'm not kidding you, within two minutes, my tooth feels like a brand new tooth. Like what is this crack? It's plaque gel. Do they sell that in the US? I think not. Like literally the ingredients, it's all in Italian. It's pretty wild. Mm, is she done? Nope, she ain't done. These are so good, oh my God. May not be a good cook, but damn. I am a great baker. Look at my banana bread. Mm, let's cut her open and have a piece for breakfast. I don't like the end, so, so I cheat. Mm, look at that. Would you look at that? That looks delicious. And then the trick is to cover it with tin foil. It stays, it'll stay for like a week. And it'll be nice and moist. I know we all hate that word, but it is a word. And there she is. Mm. This makes any Monday so much better. Mm. So good. Mm. With coffee, 
Mm. This is the ultimate soul warmer, I promise you. I will leave the recipe for my banana bread down below. I literally follow the same recipe every time I do it. Here we go, let's go. Thank <laughs> you.